So in this experiment, I, I'm going to demonstrate the beat frequency and what it looks like and what it sounds like. So the first graph right here is showing a 500 hertz sine wave. The second graph here is currently also showing a 500 hertz sine wave, but I'm going to change that frequency. And I'm adding those two signals together to get this graph here. And this bottom graph here is the uh, fast Fourier transform. It's showing the, the frequency content of that signal. So when the frequencies are both the same, they happen to be adding together. So right now I've got single sine wave output that's at 500 hertz. If I increase my second frequency here to 501, you can start to hear a beat frequency of approximately 1 hertz, which is the difference between the two frequencies of the signals coming in. And you can see the resulting addition of those two signals is this sort of pulsating sine wave and you can see the you know the amplitude of the uh, frequency response is also pulsating so if you increase this to 502 now I got a beat frequency of 2 Hertz if you go much much higher you can start to see the actual beat frequency is sort of overlaid on top of the um, carrier frequency which is I guess 500 Hertz if I drop this way down to say 200 Hertz now I have a 500 hertz signal added to a 200 hertz signal, gives me this sine wave coming out, and you can definitely see the two separate peaks on the frequency response representing those two sine waves.